area, and indeed he was born in Grimsby, and his father was once the registrar of Lincoln. Well, I met Vincent uh, Haddersley at the Asher Gallery on Friday as he was putting the final touches to his exhibition. He's worked all over the world, including China, so I asked him firstly what took him to Outer Mongolia. Well, it was a childhood dream, really, that I, I wanted to uh, see what I thought was probably the cradle of horse civilization of, of, of man and horse, and... Uh, and I had dreams of Yankees Khan, and, and um, finally I met his descendants, and it was better than I ever imagined it would Was be. it very austere? Terribly, very, very. And oddly enough, you can liken parts of it to, say, the North York Wars. And very similar, no trees, nothing, just this wilderness, and herds of cattle, and, and horses, and flocks of sheep. Why the horse? I don't know, it's always interested me. I, I've always enjoyed drawing the horse and riding the horse. I, as I've ridden in well, all the countries I go to, I like to ride there. What can people see here? It, this is totally representative of all the sort of things that you do, is it? I would say so. I mean, we have, well, we have one or two things of Inner Mongolia. We have England, uh, France. Uh, we even have Canic, uh, just next to Lincoln here, and Digby, Redbourne. Uh, we have Canada, which, of course, I've lived in for many years in British Columbia. And they're very typical Indian villages and uh, a couple of Indian portraits. Um, I think, yes, I, I, I just say it's very, pretty comprehensive, really. It's interesting that you, having travelled so far into so many different parts of the world, come back to Lincoln and we can see paintings done in that situ. Do you do the same thing and take the canic that you remember Absolutely. mentioned just now to yeah. Canada and in a Mongolia? Yes, yes I do, yeah. What sort of reaction do you get there? Well, very straight. I was actually working on a, another painting of Lincolnshire when I was in Inner Mongolia, and uh, they couldn't make it out at all because they, it was a pack of hounds. And they said, my God, there's a lot of food there. I didn't quite understand, but they eat dogs. And <laughs> so they thought they couldn't understand all this, you see. <laughs> But, uh, I mean, I, obviously, Lincolnshire is my sort of, well, spiritual home, I suppose, mm -hmm. really, apart from knowing the county well. And, uh, yeah, I, I take bits of it away and, and then bring bits back. Do you find it difficult getting inspiration? Or, I mean, is it something that readily comes to you? Well, in a way, I know what I'm looking for. And uh, I'm very interested in architecture, for example, and... and so anywhere where there's what I consider inter interesting architecture, that's always a bonus. Countryside, for example, people, uh, and again, the, the horse, and whether mm. it's uh, harnessed or ridden or, or just wild. I mean, it's, the interest is still there, because the thing moves. I think that's one of the beauties of, of the animal. It's capturing that mobility, that movement, is it? Yes, I, I think so. I mean, for me, a horse sort of animates or any activity with a horse animates any landscape. And I'm also interested to see the way that the people in different parts of the world deal with the horse. I, mean, I think it's fascinating. What about early days? When did you first start drawing and painting? Uh, really, since I sort of remember as a kid, I spent all my time. I, was a, I, I could occupy myself very comfortably. I didn't really need other people much. Did you ever dream then that it would turn into... Not really. A way of life such as it has no, today? I don't think so. I mean, it was... Uh, after a while, I suppose, I thought, gosh, you know, it'd be nice to do this all the time. And I was much older by that time. Mm. And then, of course, I couldn't afford to because nobody wanted to buy a painting. <laughs> Hungry <laughs> artist. Yeah, yeah absolutely, <laughs> absolutely true. You know, it takes a long time. Yeah. I mean, it's obviously inspired people in the past, uh, whether they be the musicians difficulty? or writers or painters. The difficulty of not selling, getting, getting known to a public, uh, but yet still wanting to sit there and paint and not earn any money. Well, you see, I think that if, if you're interested, I think money is, is, has to be a secondary thing. It, it's, you have a comp I mean, anybody who does anything creative, they have a compulsion to do it. It's that compulsion that uh, sort of pushes you on, whether you, you know, make money out of it or, or whether you're in brackets, successful or unsuccessful. Um, it's, it's the passion to wish to do it. That's local artist Vincent Haddersley and his exhibition is currently on at the Asher Gallery in Lincoln. It's two and a half minutes to one o'clock.